good pals to leave a little left on bones. If Mother Nature herself gon' swallow me up whole, but the crows and the cracks in Mama gon' starve themselves to death. Cause I got at least a hundred years till someone's getting fed. Every day this river rises. Hadn't tried. From the 24 Hours of Le Mans, it's a manhole cover out of the center of town where they bring the cars across in the parade. Think you guys can make that into the table? Do what? What's Ainsley doing here? Well, see, the problem was I needed somebody to work the store, and Haley didn't like it, but she's at the store, so we got Ainsley. What's up, guys? So, so you bribed her into running the boat? I damn sure did. I've never seen a log this stuck before. Is there a certain point where you just got to give up? No, there's no point at which I give up. I will come back with a bigger boat. Like, I, I, it's mine. Okay. You okay? Nope. My back. My crew and I have one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. So what a lot of viewers don't realize is that also means the camera crew is tagging along with the most dangerous job in the world. I'm just glad he wasn't more seriously injured. Uh, either it came loose or the cable broke. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cable broke. These cables are rated for a 12,000 pound brake strength, so it's no wonder the boat shot up that high once it let go. What the hell was that? All I heard was boom! I went like, I just, I went under the log to get the hell out of the way. I'm just glad everybody's okay. This is so I, uh, dangerous. I might fix the boat, dude. We, we flexed the whole plate. Um, yeah, we done some bad stuff. We bent some stuff. I gotta fix some stuff. It's been a total waste of a day, and no way does this help me get the job done. We gotta fix the boat. We're gonna have to go home, dude, and fix the boat. Because the other three have all gotta be broke with the center winch, too. Like, we got no center winch. We've broken the boot. I'm not even sure how to feel right now. This is the first time in my life I'm going home without a log. Let's get Dave out the water, get his gear up. We're gonna leave these buoys on, and we'll come back tomorrow. All right, sounds Start. good. What's going on, man? What's going on, buddy? Oh, nothing. Work, man. Work. How you been? Pretty good. How about you? Oh, busy. Insanely so. Jones Weldon's helped us a bunch throughout the years. I figure I'd pay them a visit, go ahead and pick up a new welder, get some stuff for this table, get this boat fixed, and get back to it. I got a customer's wanting this awesome table, but it's a big mix of steel and wood. I just want to go ahead and update my welder, man. I don't want to do all them beads with a stick. I'm going to go ahead and get a MIG. You know, all the woodworking on this table will be on point but I want these welds to look good and be strong, so I need to get a new welder. All right, well, let me show you what we got. All right. I mean, I got a 252 here. Uh, we can put a aluminum spool gun on it. You can weld a MIG. I mean, it's a MIG complete spool gun. You can weld aluminum or one, steel. One machine does all. It seems like it's a little bit too much machine for what we're doing. I need something a little more portable. And over here, I got the, uh, I got the 190. And I got the 215. Um, the 190, it's a little smaller. I mean, 215, you're getting a little more power out of it. It's also a three in one. You can buy it with or without the stick and the tick. So basically, I can do everything I'm doing now all in one machine. All in one machine. And then does that come with it, or is that something you purchase separate? You can buy the stick electrode and the TIG with it. You can buy it as a package or you can wait and buy it later as a, you know, separate. Okay, I'll probably just go ahead and get it all today. I've been kind of wanting to get in TIG weld. You know, I do a lot of aluminum, right. all my, especially if I get into some of my thinner aluminum, I, it's the easier way to do it, so. You know, the old stick welders never let me down. We build all of our boats with it. But in this case, I want to have super clean welds with really good penetration, so we're going to upgrade to a MIG welder. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and get this one. All I got right. to get to work welding. Now. I'll get, get you a it. ticket. 
You know, this MIG's gonna be perfect for what we need to do. I'm excited to try it out. Hey man, you know what? While I'm here, let me check out that skull helmet right there. Oh, the Miller Digital Infinity? Yeah, man. I'm, just, I'm used to looking out of this, man. I, I, man, that thing right here, it's got all kinds of settings. Uh, you can set the sensitivity, your delay, the darkness of it. Now that's one of them I can grind. I can turn it on and off and grind Man, in. You I can, can do the, this thing will do anything you want to do. Oh, Jesus. That's gonna it might it. make you a better welder. Oh, that wouldn't be hard to do. You can have the best welder in the world, but if you can't see your workpiece, it doesn't do you any good. America! Clint, what's going on, man? Man, I didn't hear hey, you drive up. Good what's to see happening? you, brother. You doing all right? Doing good. What have you torn up? Dwayne's an engineer that's great with all things metal. I brought him in to help me because I want to make sure this boat never breaks again. I can't stand losing. I finally found a log I couldn't pull. I, oh, man. And I broke it. Gotcha. I, I need, I'm going to need to be able to pull off the front, but I'm going to need to be able to pull max pressure without you know, I mean, you can see I've torqued all this mm -hmm. forward. I just, we gotta, I gotta eliminate that. So you're the mechanical engineer, so, so. How strong is this winch? My name's Dwayne Maddox. I'm a field application engineer for Miller Electric. Clint and I have been friends for a long time. We're both old Florida boys, so we're kind of used to doing the same thing, same hobbies. Personally, I think our strongest point of Miller welders is we, we take a lot of pride in what we do. And I mean, every person on the assembly line if they hear there's a defect or something has gone wrong with a customer's product, these people take it personally. Uh, you know, from the assembly workers all the way up to the top of management. So they actually care about what we send out. I love to blacksmith on weekends. Most things I uh, work with end up being weapons of one kind or another. I've made maces, uh, swords, knives, guitars, all kinds of weapons anything metal. If I can lift it, weld it, blacksmith it, cut it, I, I just love dealing with metal. I heard that my buddy Clint let a log kick his butt. This is 12,000 pounds. All right. So we don't have to worry about exceeding the capacity of the winch. I, I think you're starting right. We need to take this out and maybe if we move these to the inside so you got more surface contact, keep from twisting, Maybe we can brace that I-beam back to one of your steel so supports. Just the, the okay. parameters of this boat, this boat's meant to come apart if I get in shallow water. Right. So this pontoon will come off, and this pontoon will come off. I designed this boat to be able to come apart in three separate pieces. That way, if we were ever working in really, really shallow water and got the shoals, we could simply take it apart, cross the shoals, put it back together, and go back to work. We'll still bolt to these, but we'll move them to the inside so there's less uh, possibility of twisting. Okay. Right? It'll be flush to that inner surface. And then we're going to have to heat and beat on that little centerpiece there, I think. Get it back down. Hey, the good news is for a guy that taught himself to weld aluminum, I did all right. It don't look bad from here. We're going to fix this, give him a little more leverage on the uh, winch. We'll snatch that log out like nobody's business. We start cutting these off. And then we can get those out. We can, we can get the plasma cutter out. All right, we can get to it. Let's do it. Dwayne, it's going to be a long afternoon, but we're about to get this thing whooped. It is. And tomorrow, I'm going to kick a log. So tomorrow's going to be the day. Either I'm pulling that log out, or we're sinking this boat to the bottom of the river. But one of those two things is happening. I, I ain't never had one beat me. 
I am glad that uh, myself and Miller have been able to help yeah, with this. I, it's been fun. I love this new MIG, man. This is, this is uptown now. But All right, well, let's, let's get these things up. seamed up. We got to get a brace cut and we'll get this thing done. All right, sounds good. For some revenge. Let's go show this blonde girl what we got stuck up river. I'm the good luck charm, I promise. It's because I wasn't there. I'm not on the river one day and they break the boat. And worse than that, they came home empty handed. What is this? I'm either breaking the boat in half or it's coming <laughs> home. They're like, we're either swimming home or the log's coming with us. Like, that's, that's where we're at. You tell them Clint's coming and hell's coming with him. I think today's going to be personal. Somebody's surrendering, either us or the log. And Clint's out for revenge. I pity that log. Then last I stabbed my flag at the top of the hill, so y'all know how I feel. I'm feeling, I'm really feeling myself tonight. So if you're thinking about it, don't even waste your time. I'm feeling Oh my God, look, I have new followers. <laughs> I'm so cute. Let me take a picture. Let me edit it. Dog face selfie. The hell, man. Yeah, that's it right here. They're all right here. Yeah, there's a buoy. There's a buoy. Stuff will be right there. Round two with this log. Boat's ready. Crew's ready. I'm damn sure ready. I hope. So all of this for one log? We are undefeated. We don't get beat by no wood. I'm like 12,000 and 0. Well, clearly the other day you were. No, that's I'm still sure. a draw. This is the rematch to decide right here. You know what? Part of me is rooting for the log. I'll throw you the hell off this boat. You can swim your ass back to the bank. <laughs> she thinks it's all fun and games. Little does she know I'll send her swimming down the river with the gators. We're gonna do the Acme Roadrunner maneuver, that's all. Blow it up? No, 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 we're gonna. Run away? If I remember correctly, it didn't work out so good for the uh, for the coyote. Yeah, I have better equipment. <laughs> Basically, the way this log's sitting down there, it's gonna be easier to pull it horizontally than vertically. So I'm gonna anchor the boat off upstream, run the winch off the front, and we are gonna break this girl loose. All right, man, you got my PC in? You got my mask ready? Yep. First thing we gotta do today, relocate the log and get the winch on it. Good news, it's still there. I had a little concern of that. But thank you for reassuring me. I was definitely high on my concern list. <laughs> All right, let's do what we gotta do. Am I the only person that doesn't find this funny? It's go time. Makes me nervous though. It's the most dangerous way to pull a log. Just where it's at and the tree that it's under, there's no way to get the boat on top of it and do it a different way, but it's a dangerous way to pull a log. I sure hope this anchor tree holds up, because if it don't, we're going to be in a world of hurt. Clint, be careful. Okay. I let go, the boat's going. The boat should almost hold itself. Or Haley, go up there and hold the vine like Make yourself useful. Anchor off the something. Make myself useful? What is he talking about? He's just a little grumpy because this log is kicking his butt. Get the two ends of that. So take 
Could have just put a winch around it. Um, I'm not so sure about this. Okay, then take take the one out. Yep, yep. Oh, you okay? Mm, right in the face. Close your lip. <sighs> Hold up. Play that back in slow motion. Zoom in on this. Nothing, baby. I'm telling you, there's nothing like busting yourself in the mouth with a rusty chain. Oh, we're going. We're going. You know, this is not working out. Dave's busted himself in the mouth with a chain. He's gonna need some dental work. Princess is over on the bank for God knows what reason instead of being on the boat. And me, I'm over here all like, can we just pull this log? If he can... Hop, hop me off in front of that. All right, I can climb across the log. Oh, okay, then somebody get her mic and set the mic out and she's welcome to climb across the log. I'm not burning a thousand dollar mic because no. ultimately that is exactly Murphy's Law. Alien eagle will swarm down upon high and knock you in the water. That hornet will jump up and sting you. Like, whatever possibly could happen will happen. Yeah, he's so happy right now. You can just feel it. Yeah. Somebody filmed the Olympics. You can do it. Why now. You stand up? Why because you there's a tree right here. I'm wondering how she's going to attack the hornet jump. This feels like a bad idea. And we've got now we've got the straddle beam. We're coming through the area of brush. We've got a couple of short hops. Where you're really going to see skill is when it comes to the hornet hop. Now, there's always the possibility that the hornet does attack, and then her balance will, of course, become in question. See, hey, she, see, see she's, it? you see now she's went to the barefoot attack. She's going to dig her bare toes into the bark, claw in for better grip. I may be laughing, but I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I haven't seen this since the summer mud fest of 08. I'm telling you guys, this is still a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Do the flip. Do this map. Watch your map. What these boys don't know is I've been a cheerleader my whole life. I got great balance. I don't care. It's a bad idea. You're on the home stretch now. It's just step, step, and step. Wait. Wait for it. See, I told him I can do it. I give that a solid three. A Ray! solid three. Ray! It's any better. I think I got bit on the butt by an ant. This hurts. You know, I finally got this circus of a crew reined in, and we got everything hooked up, and we started pulling on this log, and pulling, and pulling. And pulling. Pulling. Hopefully it won't break. This is super sketchy. I'm not trying to get hurt, especially after what happened to them the other day. Just taking it up. Pull, yeah, pick it up and pull it out. Is it sliding out at all? Yeah. You can just hear it down there cracking and popping. Jesus, I would have thought it would come out already. Do you see that? That does not look like a normal ant bite to me. Clint, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to assess the situation. Now that we've got max pressure on this log, the only thing I can do to help it come out is get out there with Dave and do the wood wiggle. And all of a sudden, now that's called winning. No, <laughs> yeah, I that's can't believe winning. that. <laughs> you guys really did shake, uh, shake it out. Winning. So apparently, the only way to get on an overly stuck log is taking two overweight men and having them wiggle with no rhythm. <laughs> Who would have thought?
hear that sound? That's me winning. Oh, wow. That is a good log. You know, we finally got this thing broke loose, and it's every bit of the log I thought it would be. Got a big heart, nice and long, everything you want in a log. Hey, man, no log left behind. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry, quitter, what? I was, I was just concerned about time. I'm sorry, quitters. Quitter says what? I'm not a quitter. It's worth all the trouble I went through to get it. I never thought Clint was crazy for putting this much effort into a log. Eh, maybe a little. But when we brought it up, totally worth it, man. What? What's happening with Haley? You okay? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Haley, you okay? You dizzy? There are the same things happening that happened last time. Last year when we first started filming the show, I got bit by something and had allergic reaction. Except this time, it's much worse. You need like a hip skin or some Benadryl or something? Yeah, get something. Do you see the sweat coming down my Yeah, I do. I do. That's why I'm asking you. No, what's getting me is the I don't know why. The same thing happened last time, but I'm getting like massive cramps. It's the poison from the bugs. Drink some water. And the overheating, probably. It doesn't look good. I got ice in the cooler a lot. This ain't good, man. We're several miles from the boat ramp and 20 more miles by highway to get to a hospital. This ain't good. We got to get Haley in the water and get her temperature down. Man, the second I grab her in the water, she looks bad, man. She looks like she's going into anaphylactic shock or something. She might have a seizure. You know, the, the silver lining in this situation is that while we don't normally have a chase boat, today my parents come out to watch us film, and we had a chase boat and someone that could get Haley to help quickly. People think this job ain't dangerous. It really is, right? Even the simplest of things. I'd say, man, it, it... You know, the one thing you never really think about getting you on either, I mean, as much as you think about getting bit by a bug, I've spent my whole life, knock on wood, I'm not allergic to anything. Like nothing affects me. A damn dinosaur could bite me and it doesn't, whatever. We work in a place where what can hurt you usually will. I knew climbing on that log was a bad idea. Well, I mean, I'm here, so uh, the job's got to get done. I reckon I'm going to run winches and dive and do the whole thing all by myself. The cameraman does it all. My producer was able to help me get these logs picked up into the ramp. We got some cell service and checked on Haley. The doctors got her took care of. She's gonna be fine. So all's well that ends well, I guess. Now that that fiasco's over with, we've got the logs we need. We're gonna get to work on Jeff Stone's table. First thing I'm gonna need to do is build this frame. It's gonna be a lot of measuring, a lot of cutting. What you got, man? Next, we'll get it all welded up. Then we'll put the supports in. Just give me about a two foot space on it. Then we'll need to set the manhole cover in. Next thing we'll do is set a couple of boards in. We'll step back and look at it. So the next thing we got to do is, you know, I'll stitch in all these side braces. You know, obviously you can kind of see it now what we're yeah. doing. We'll get all these side braces or cross braces stitched in. And then we'll take the wood and get it set in. Then I'll take it to the CNC machine. We'll cut the exact size for the manhole cover out right. and set it in. And then it's got to go to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and the guy will have the legs bent, and he'll fab into bolt holes for it, so they'll thread into the bottom, and right. there's your table. Huh. I think Mr. Uh, Mr. Stone's going to be happy with this one, brother. I really want these legs to be perfect, so I'm going to make a trip up to Tennessee and see a friend of mine, Michael, with Garage Bound. He's going to help me get these things welded up. The first thing Michael and I wanted to do was actually lay these things out and bend them. Once we looked at it, it wasn't working out like we wanted to, wasn't the look we were going for. 
So we decided to go another route. Michael's fixing to go to cutting out the holes. This thing's coming together. I'm gonna personally deliver this table. So I rented a moving truck, got the table loaded up. Me and the crew's about to head to Madison, Wisconsin. So we just pulled up to Kelly Moss Road and race. We got this table unloaded. We're fixing to do a reveal and let him see this table that he's been waiting a couple of months on now. We've got it finished up. This thing looks awesome. We're just hoping he feels the same. Well, y'all come on and check it out. This is gonna be cool. Love the car cover. So I, fig I figured it would work for a good reveal, right? So we Absolutely. covered it up when you cover stuff. Aren't you ready to see it? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Go back. Let's check it out. Oh man, this is cool. I was blown away. It, it's, it's absolutely everything I ever thought of and then some. Uh, the industrial design is exactly what I had envisioned and the, the wood is exceptional. The combination of the manhole cover that, that we donated in the middle of it, just everything about it is perfect. Just couldn't be happier. Yeah, I, I knew it was going to be great, but it's well above and beyond what I could have ever expected. I would have never guessed that this could have come out of that river. What do you think, bud? Based on what you sent me, I thought this was what you had in mind. This, um, this is awesome. So everything's totally, totally amazing. The look on Jeff and Jeffrey's face when they saw the table, absolutely phenomenal, man. This is what we want right here at Three River Flooring. You know, we cut, uh, got a Magtech drill and cut all your holes, like I said, that way everything was drilled out. Awesome. We, uh, we give it a good geometric effect, like I say, the way we built the legs and everything's mounted to the center. I left you some options up on the top. You can leave it as a permanent, or if you want, you can pick it up and it'll spin like a Lazy Susan. So This is cool. cool. So the idea is to have a conference table for my office, and uh, my office after my brother passed has expanded because we joined his and mine together and uh, really couldn't, couldn't replace somebody in his, so we thought that's a way to keep us together and uh, this is gonna be perfect in there and he'll be in there with me every time I'm at it. So you think Uncle David like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's about as cool as it gets. It couldn't be a better spot given his truck's right behind us. Yeah. Man. Wow, that, that is super cool. Yeah, this was my brother's truck that we did together many years ago and, and uh, you know, can't think of a better thing to have together here. Well, that's awesome. He, he's looking down, watching all this right now and I know I know he'd love it because uh, it's just about as crazy as everything else we did together for 30 years. But man, that thing is wicked cool. It's a little heavy too. I have had five or six customers ask me about doing something similar. And I was like, um, if you can get one. Good luck. They're like, well, how did he get it? I was like, uh, I think it was a gift. It was definitely that good. was a gift from some friends of ours from France. Yeah, so, so it worked out good, man. That's, that's so. Yeah. But it's a really cool, unique piece, man. Like I say, I it's... can promise you, there's only one place in the world that has a conference table with a <laughs> manhole cover from the village of Le Mans, from the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Nothing else like it. Yeah, Dave, my brother, would think that this was about as cool as everything else we'd ever done. It's it's crazy, irreverent, and perfect for the way we lived our lives. So he'd be really proud to be part of it, and uh, he's he's watching over us now. Mr. Jeff, I'm not even going to lie to you, brother. I ain't got no sleeves or no pants. It's too cold in Wisconsin. I'm going back south. It's all so good. we got to get somewhere where it's sunshine and 90, man. Hey, we appreciate the business. Thank you. All right. Yes. Yes. See you guys. Hey, absolutely. Thank you, all, man. We appreciate it. Take care. Thanks.